So that was a f***ing lie. Kanye West was supposed to drop Donda, I don't know how many days ago. And um, I purposefully didn't listen to the live stream, tune into the, to the Apple live stream, tune into the event. Had a crazy amount of people in Atlanta at this uh, stadium to listen to the album. And I'm like, nah, he wouldn't do it again. He wouldn't lie again. He wouldn't a year after not releasing the original Donda tell us that the album was gonna come out on a specific day and lie. This won't be like the life of Pablo. This won't be like Yandi. You know, this, this, this time is gonna be different. Kanye's different. He's a changed man. It was a f***ing lie. Outside of my interpretations for what I thought Donda was gonna be about ultimately, that video I just recently made aged like that J. Cole album that came out this year. I'm just playing, calm down, it was a prank. In all seriousness, I don't know why I allow myself to get this excited for Kanye releases anymore. I try to be optimistic, I try to be hopeful, try not to be a hater about it, but he makes it so easy every single time. I missed out on so much music, okay? I missed out on so much of the record. I purposefully chose not to tune in because I just knew that he was gonna drop it when they said he was gonna drop, I mean, it, the, the date was on the commercial. How do you do this? I'm pretty sure it's a sin to be late, Kanye. Like, that's not Christ-like. It's a sin to lie. People are in my Twitter DMs constantly trying to spoil the album. And they're sending me Dropbox files, LimeWire links. I know that shit don't exist no more. How did you get that? I refuse to allow my ears to hear any of this album before it is complete. Now, there's one thing that I do like. I speak to someone pretty regularly that I trust in music uh, news uh, that knows how to tell me stuff about records without spoiling it you know so i don't know anything about the features i don't know anything about uh how many songs there are how long the record is but someone did tell me that the album did not sound finished and if the album didn't sound finished then i'm glad we have an additional couple weeks for kanye to finish it out last thing i need is for another jesus is king I don't want rushed music. I don't want music that isn't carefully crafted. If it takes them a couple more weeks to finish the record, by all means, take those couple extra weeks, recraft these songs. If there's any mixing that needs to be done, any tweaks that need to be done, any vocal alterations that need to, to need the need to happen. Do those things so this album can be the best that it possibly can be. Add verses, take away verses, add features, take away features. I don't care, whatever makes the music better, take the extra time to do so now come two weeks if there are still mixing issues on this record i don't know what the fuck kanye be doing at the house mike dean looked like he was on his deathbed mixing whatever tracks that he was trying to mix i saw memes going around like no this nigga is struggling my guy but yeah at the end of the day the gist of what this person was telling me was that these songs sounded good but they sounded kind of like outlines kind of like rough drafts so couple more weeks hopefully should give him enough time to fully flesh him out everything's already done just tweaks and minor alterations and we should be good to go i just want to hear it and in other news the baby is uh making a fool of himself once again he goes on uh what has been uh explained to me as a homophobic rant and uh let's let's hear what he says fellas if you ain't sucking nigga dick in the parking lot put your cell phone like let's, be real let's not pay attention to the fact that the baby told fellas to put their cell phone in the air if they weren't sucking dick in the parking lot pay no attention to the fact that the baby is the one who didn't raise his cell phone notice if this man did not have his hand I just don't know where this came from. And then the immediate cosign from the DJ. Some of y'all niggas suspect as a motherfucker. Let's be real. Nigga, what do y'all be talking about? <laughs> like, I don't understand. Nine times out of ten, you got bad bitches in the crowd. You thinking about dick and mouth. Why? The baby been on weird energy for a minute now anyway, though. I mean, he had Tory Lanez basically dressed up as a furry. I don't know what they was doing backstage. I don't know what happened prior to this that that meat slurping was even on the baby's mind. Ladies, put your cell phone lighter in the air if, if your pussy smell like water. What? What? Was the baby not literally riding in a in a literal pool of semen? In a music video? Side note, I'm looking out my window right now and I'm looking at this middle-aged white woman literally pick grass from in between the sidewalk. Like she seems super anal. It is really bothering me right now that she's doing this. And then she walked on the grass. How, it, whatever. I just genuinely don't know what provoked this, 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 this line. Out of all the things for a supposed straight man to just come out and say while he's performing in front of at least 12 to 15 percent bad bitches in the crowd and say something 
targeted specifically just to the men in the audience if you ain't sucking dick. Why do you care about this? Like if I ever become a rapper and I'm performing, I'm I'm 150% gonna ask people the real the real questions, you know? Put your cell phone in the air if you if you watch the most recent episode of Attack on Titan, you know what I'm saying? Put your cell phone in the air if you eat the pizza without the pineapples. Fellas, put your cell phone in the air if instead of using a towel, you let her rub it into her skin like it's lotion. The only thing that I thought was weird was like did he expect this to, to to get the crowd hype? It's funny, not because it's offensive, but it's funny because it makes no sense. But just like anything else, there is unintentional humor that can be found in any situation. The baby really got me wanting to introduce myself with the strangest of questions. Like imagine trying to get hired for a job and the interviewer asks you, so what's your mom's pussy feel like, bro? You like, wait, what? What do you, what? You was in there, wasn't you? You was in there for nine months and you don't know what it feel like? That's crazy. Get out of my office, bro. Get out of my office. I know I can't because I, I, I really can't deal with niggas like this. I, I ask simple questions and they try to make shit harder than it has to be. I ask you a question. You was in the womb for nine months and you sitting up here telling me you don't know what her pussy felt like. That's crazy. Get out of my office, bro. Like unless someone tried to assault the baby in the parking lot and literally tried to wrap their lips around his shit. I don't see why this was on his mind. I don't know. As a straight man myself, um, I'm just not going through my day to day uh thinking about gay niggas sucking each other's dicks like this i'm sorry it's not on my radar that new Lil nas x song though do got me walking around the house talking about i don't fuck bitches i'm queer like i don't even like i ain't even trying to like it's crazy like that song catchy as fuck i just slipped up a couple times wait wait I'm gonna I'm cut this out. Wait, did he actually say if you don't have HIV? Hold up. Even though it would have been weird, I could have understood if he would have said if you ain't got corona. And you know T.I. had to come out expeditiously with a cosign of this dumb shit. And so the awkwardness and the weirdness would have stopped there. But the baby comes out afterwards and makes uh, another four or five minute explanation video talking about what he meant saying that you know oh since i saw a dude in a crop top in the front row uh, I'm, I'm good i guess he tries to make it look like he wasn't alienating his potential you know uh gay audience which i don't think is that big of a chunk of his audience anyway but by saying if you didn't suck a nigga's dick <laughs> In the parking lot, is that not literally just alienating every fan that listens to you that happens to be gay and connecting this clearly in your perspective negative thing to that demographic? So let me get this straight. You tell the women to put their cell phone light in the air if they pussy smell like water. I don't know what water smell like, bro. But you said that because you think it's a good thing if their pussy smells like water. So every person that doesn't have this good thing, don't put your cell phone light in the air. In the same way that you would say, if you suck somebody's dick in the parking lot, don't put your cell phone light up because I don't fuck with you. That's what you just said, basically. But again, what I don't fuck with is the drawbacks. Don't come back after and make an apology video. Stand on what you said. Don't hide from it. Be you. If you want the world to know that you're this arrogant, ignorant dude, don't hide your bigotry from the world. Let people know so they can choose for themselves whether to fuck with you or not. If you're gonna be a bigot, be a bigot, but be prepared for people to call you a piece of shit for it and don't be mad when they do. I don't like that gay shit, but I'll swim in another nigga nut. Like that's that's crazy. You know, let the world know that the baby hates the gay. 